Big new developments in just the past several hours in the fight over masks in local schools. Volusia County School Board members approving a mandate for all students in a late night vote. The decision came after yet another hours long debate with heated comments from both sides. And our Mark Lehman is live at district headquarters this morning. Mark, this requirement will be in place for several weeks. Yes, the new policy starts Tuesday and will be in place through mid-October. It comes in the wake of a ruling against the governor's executive order banning mask requirements. Uh, despite, that, uh, despite that ruling, the state is threatening action against districts with mask requirements, saying they're breaking the law. Protesters gathering outside the Volusia County School Board Tuesday night while an hours-long meeting unfolded inside. It is not reasonable to mask healthy children. We are not high risk of hospitalization or death. The debate over face coverings in schools front and center yet again as the district held talks about reissuing a mask mandate. I know damn well that you didn't fall asleep in science class and that you know that the science behind masks is correct and it's undeniable. The board voting 3-2 on a mandate, which means masks will be required unless a student has a doctor's note to opt out. It comes days after a judge in Tallahassee ruled against Governor DeSantis's executive order blocking mask mandates, something the state is appealing. The Department of Education, meanwhile, is threatening action against districts that require masks in schools. Even Orange County received a stern warning in this letter from Florida's Education Commissioner, Richard Corcoran, saying he'll recommend the department withhold school board members' salaries unless the district explains how they're complying with the governor's order. And Orange County has until 5 p.m. this evening to issue a response to Corcoran over their mass policy. As for Volusia County, with their mass requirements beginning on Tuesday, parents have a three-day grace period to submit a doctor's note to opt out by next Friday. We're now reporting live in Deland. Mark Lehman, getting results, News 6.